Fuck. Fuck. Let's go. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another Fortnite video. So, uh, I'm here on Save the World, which I started. I started grinding over like five months ago, maybe, and. And I'm already in Candy Valley, power level 72. It's not that impressive, but whatever. So, the the update dropped like when season eight came out and I've seen a lot of vi people making videos on their hero loadouts. So, I'm here to show off some of my builds that I've created oh, over the past, what, five weeks that it's been out. So yeah, let's get right into this. I have hybrid right here, and so mm, I guess you could go with a different hero. It really doesn't matter if you have hybrid; it's not necessary. You could really run this with any ninja or any uh, or any hero in general, really. But I have hybrid because I just loved his overall design and how and how he how he his perk inflicts melee a melee affliction and also. Uh, does fire damage and also dragon slash does fire uh, fire damage, which is really cool. Also have this this right. Here. Ow, uh, hit it. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Oh yeah, boy. So the team perk here is bio energy source, and the support the support team is rapid charge, fuel for the fallen, annihilation, tail of dragon, and assassination. So this is the ma mostly a melee uh, weapon loadout, and really this is probably my favorite loadout of uh, out of all of these. I have anti cuddle Sarah. I have a, uh, I have a fallen love ranger. I have a uh, blade blade storm enforcer, a uh, cuddle Sarah, and also assassin Ken. I think that's the name. No, blue streak Ken. Uh, you get him through pl owning PlayStation. You get anti. You can get Cuddle Sarah in the event store, and at the moment you can get Fallen Love Ranger and anti cu anti Cuddle uh, Sarah in the event uh, Love Storm event right now going on. And also Blade Storm Enforcer though, you have to use a voucher, which unfortunately I <laughs> you. Unfortunately, you will need to if you haven't bought them already. But this is still a uh, you, this is still a good a good uh, loadout to have. You don't have to have um you don't have to have blade blade storm enforcer. Really, these these two right here are very optional. Assassination would be really preferred in this loadout. Uh, but fuel for the fallen, rapid charge, and bio energy source is gonna be the perks. It's gonna be the meat of the sandwich. It's gonna be it's gonna be amazing. Like this is a melee loadout, and I su highly suggest using Spectral Blade and also Sir Lancelot because you're gonna need to you're gonna need to uh, to be attacking heavy attacking a lot, and they use they do a lot of damage. <laughs> They're probably the best fucking web uh, melees right now in the game, but. Yeah, I don't have any melee efficiency uh, for for heavy for heavy attacks because you don't want to decrease your your amount of energy that you use. You're gonna be gaining back all your energy through rapid charge and fuel for fallen really really fucking fast. And this character is perfect for uh for uh for mob handling. So like if there's a bunch of fucking a bunch of fucking uh husks gathering together, you will want to use this guy and this is perfect because your melees with uh with your spectral blade and sir lancelot it's gonna be doing a lot of aoe damage and it's gonna be really really helpful to gain back a lot of a lot of uh energy and tail for tail of the dragon kunihilation just to buff up his his uh his abilities which will be really really preferable but really you can use you can put Assault rifle damage or anything for those, and assassination is because you're gonna want you're gonna be wanting to deal more uh, damage with your normal attacks too, because you can't spam your heavy attacks. Tail of the tail of the dragon annihilation you could replace. You could put on curls with strikes, and then you could put on something else. So you could increase your spear damage or your uh, or your sword damage. But this is the first Loda, and I hope you guys really enjoy it, and we'll get right into the gameplay. Woo! 
All right, so this is the weapons I'm gonna be using. It's a Sir Lancelot with three green rolls and and two blue rolls with a crit build. This is going this is also my Spectre Blade with all blue rolls and an energy element. This is also my Hemlock that I'm gonna be using. It's not really needed for this. It's very, it's very very rare that you're gonna need to use this. But uh, but yeah, if you were curious, this is my Hemlock build. So we're gonna go into an encampment and we're gonna see how this loadout fares. Uh, in a group That's against husks. Husks. Take out the enemies to clear the encampment. Oh my god, I already got a bitch slapped by their fucking. So this is really when you're gonna want to use a spectral blade if you want to. When there's a uh, when there's acid pools and there's a uh, slowing pools, it's there's a glitch where like if you're charging into it with the Sir Lancelot, it's gonna act like you're hitting a uh, hitting a wall, but it's not the actual case here. It's just a glitch. Uh, Spectral blade, like I said, is optional. You can make this into a spear build if you want or a sword build. There you go. And as you can see, while I'm trying to kill these guys, it's really showing that I'm getting more shield. That's the bioenergy source being put into effect. How? How? How did, how did you? Yeet! Yeet! It's against these guys that... Uh, it's gonna be a lot really really annoying and of course this isn't the most efficient way to kill husk but still a really good way to to deal with them and it d and allows for a lot more of a tankier build these are what you're gonna want your sword slash for it's they're really really helpful and I think this is where you're gonna want your hemlock because uh, it's a lot more efficient to kill them with uh, guns than with a uh, sword or a spear. You're not gonna be dishing out the damage that you'd want because it's, like I said, it's a lot less efficient than you'd really used to. But this is a tanky, a tanky build that really allows you to stay alive for a lot more longer, and it's gonna really pay off in the long run. And it's gonna allow for you to actually like survive a lot more longer than than you normally would do. I have Commando Ramirez here, and I this is more I chose I started using her because I wanted to have a minigun a minigun uh, loadout because I really really like using the miniguns and it's and with her it's just fucking amazing going again is such an amazing perk like you literally have to wait just what 15 seconds at most because it starts cooling down as soon as you start using it so fifth you're gonna be using it for 10 seconds and you're gonna be waiting like 20 more seconds or 15 more seconds trying to uh, waiting for it to get off of get off of cooldown <laughs> And I love this perk so much. Keep out as an overall really good soldier a soldier perk, and I really really love using it. And it's and I highly recommend using it most of the time. But you can you you can have preemptive strike or or any other uh, team perk for this because it's not necessary. Unlike the bioenergy source in in the hybrid build. Mad Tidings and Waste Not Want Not is going to be working together because the longer you shoot at someone, the the more damage you're going to be doing over time, and it's going to be really really helpful. Fuel for the Fallen is there, so you could have to so get more energy the more uh, every single time you're like shooting at something, and it's going to help you with your abilities just in case you have to spam your fucking grenades or you have or uh, or you don't have enough energy for power impact. Or mini or the minigun, but ain't done yet. Is also one here that I have. Uh, it's a really good perk, and if you want to, you can switch these two characters. You can switch uh, Commando Ramirez for Sergeant Jonesy, but you don't really have to. This uh, I just did this because of what I liked, and then you could also have Boomstick on this. You could replace power impact or one of the AR damage perks and 
yeah. This is probably one of my favorite builds and one of my favorite soldier builds and I love using it so much. And it's like it's kinda of like a rescue trooper build, which I don't really mind. But it's still doing a lot of damage and it's still you still have a lot of fun using it. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the gameplay. So these are the weapons I'm gonna be using. It's a, a crit build on a hemlock with all blue rolls and nature element. This is a crit build on a hunter killer with, with all blue rolls and a, a fire element. I'm also going to be using the silent specter that my friend gave me. So that's why the perks aren't modified at all. And also has a water element too. This is also a 4 times power level 6 for retrieve the data mission. Alright, as you can see here, I'm really just gunning it for my minigun. I'm going to be dishing out the most damage with my minigun possibly. Of course, I am there with my shockwave if I ever do need it. I can't, I really can't see anything. <laughs> and my, my, uh, and my fucking grenades are buffed right now, so. It is gonna come in handy. And you can really see Stay Frosty, fr Stay Frosty being activated, so. But that perk, that perk with, uh, refer Mad Tidings is really gonna uh, help be effective. You can see that my that my power impact is really helping me reach the fucking farter husks that are probably gonna be staying out of range to shoot me with any. Oh my god! Holy shit! Dude, there's two! There's two! There's two! Holy shit! My power impact really helping out, helping out to clear out, uh, like really groups of husks that are like banded together, and then it could really help you reach the farther and the farther husks that are like trying to stay back and shoot you. And I think the minigun is, I don't think the minigun is affected by smoke screen. Uh, well, I don't think so. And the minigun really does help out clear out, uh, clear out uh, groups of husks that are really gonna be affecting it. But <laughs> unlike, but unlike me, you should probably be staying right next to the point so you can help uh, clear out husks. This is my DPS build right here. It's Skull Ranger Ramirez with locked and reloaded and keep out. Uh, of course, you could have preemptive strike, like I said, because it's probably gonna be preferable here. But I have mad tidings, explosive rounds, waste not, want not, assault damage, and assault crit damage here. You, you're gonna need to get a, a voucher for tactical assault sledgehammer, and then you get, uh, you get Wu Kong through an event, or through the Chinese New Year's event. Though unfortunately, it already ended, and also a crack shot. You get it through the the winter event that happened during uh, December. Which unfortunately already ended, but you could get us. You could get these two characters. You could. This is already a regular character inside the inside the game. You could get him out. Of, you could get her out of llamas, and then you could got. You could get Spitfire through reaching Candy Valley and doing the hero the hero challenges, and it's gonna be really really cool. So the longer, like I said, the longer you shoot, you're gonna want assault damage and assault crit damage here because it's gonna be buffing up your damage. And with mad tidings, if you have a uh, and waste not want not, if if you have a grave digger, it's gonna be so much more useful and it's gonna be so much more fucking powerful. At explosive rounds, you don't really have to have that, but I just chose to have that because it because it was. Because uh, I have only individual damage, so you're only gonna be focusing on one husks, one husk at a time. But uh, but with explosive damage, you're gonna be you're, you're gonna be doing uh, some AOE damage. Not much though. They're gonna be in the you're gonna need to be in a very close radius, so it could be actually effective. But still really nice to have if you want. You could replace it for startup or bullet rain or make it rain. I mean. Which, uh, or first shot reels perk, which could be a really, really po uh, powerful perk. Of course, uh, you can, uh, you, you can replace the, 
uh, the hero with tactical assault such hammer. But you don't really need to. I chose using Skull Ranger Ramirez because I just prefer the way she looks. Alright, now let's get into the gameplay. Alright, we're in the 4 times power level 64 ride lightning mission. I'm using my hunter killer uh, with all blue rolls and a fire element with a critical build. Alright, so with this setup, I'm going to be dealing a massive amount of AR damage. You're going to really want to minimize the amount of reload t uh, that you're going to be doing because you have mass hidings and each time you reload or you switch your weapons, you're going to be uh, re resetting the mad tidings perk. I'm doing massive amount of damage over time and it's really really helpful. Like I'm utterly melting a uh, fucking hus. And my magazine size has really put my my uh, fucking hunt hunter killer into <laughs> into a whole new stage because it had yeah, just because I have a bigger magazine size and I have mad tidings on and since I have a um, critical build on this and also uh, assault and also an a assault crit damage uh, perk it's really fucking helping mowing down all these husks and it's really really awesome to do it so because even even the fucking uh, Smashers are having trouble at getting past uh, my fucking hunter killer. And if you're really looking for a good uh, assault crit build or a, or an assault damage build, it's really, really. I'd really recommend just using this one. This is a really powerful build, and I really would recommend using it if you don't have. A first shot reel or a bullet storm jonesy like this is probably a way to go in terms of assault uh, damage and it's really really showing so field agent reel is supposed to be a more gun focused outlander it isn't she isn't focusing on her abilities more so on her weapons so I am trying to make some of her abilities useful with uh, with the first three perks I have so I have Berserker, turn, Return to Sender, and Overbearing. You already you get uh, Trailblazer AC by just owning uh, PlayStation Plus. And then uh, if you're on Xbox, you're gonna be getting a different hero. I'm not sure what it's called, but you're gonna but you might wanna check you might wanna check your heroes just because it's gonna be because his perk is really really cool. There's also another hero in the collection book that you could get who's like part of the uh, original roster. Uh, which is called Blaze uh, Trailblazer Quinn, I think that's her name. You're gonna need Ragnarok for Return to Sender. You're gonna need to use a voucher, unfortunately, and so so will uh, using a ta uh, tactical assault sledgehammer. You get Ventura Ramirez through uh, doing the hero quests when you reach a Candy Valley, and you get uh, munitions expert in, uh, in in through the normal roster. Of course, I tried use I tried buffing up her abilities a little bit more with the three with the first three perks, and it's really really really, really fun to use her abil her abilities, and and since she's a more of a gun focused hero, I did put a assault crit damage and assault damage, and that's what really really should be the main focus of field agent real. Of course, it's not a hero that requires like a big magazine size. It's just there so you could have. A lot more of a, a lot more powerful gunplay. All right, I'll see you guys in the gameplay. <laughs> this is also a power level 64 four times uh, retrieve the data mission. All right, I have a lot of fun with this build because of the fact that I get to use the phase bla blaster, the phase blaster team perk, and the Face cannon uh, team, uh, normal perk, supported perk. Like this, it helps really buff up your your gunplay, and it helps you 
helps you uh, go through enemies and just uh and it deals a lot of fucking damage regardless of element you're really gonna be doing a lot of damage and it's gonna be super super dope of course what as a outlander you're gonna need to be playing fast you're gonna be use, needing to phase shift all around and then you're gonna be really needing to uh, move around and be such a hard target for the husk to attack it's also going to be very beneficial for your team too if you keep on moving because you're going to be getting your uh, your phase cannon perk a activated every single time you're using a uh, phase shift. And if there's like a bunch of husks right here, if you have your phase cannon or your phase blast activated, you're really, really going to just mow through all of them. The return to sender perk is really going to be one of your best friends at sticky situations. It, it's going to help you clear out a lot of fucking husks when you really, really need to. And as you see, uh, as you saw there, I my face cannon activated and it really helped out. And so does the fist. Trying to get to high ground so I could get so my teddy could get a better vantage point with every single. This is honestly one of my better uh, loadouts, and it's probably the one of the most fun loadouts that you could use. Unlike the PlayStation loadout, it's really a a loadout that's very effective, really really fun to use. And it's one, and it's a loadout that I actually just really enjoy using overall. So I have the Ice King here. I have Slow Your Roll, which I think is given to you if you have hit, uh, the Ice Queen or the Ice King, depending on who you, uh, you who you have. I think it might be the Ice King. I'm not sure. But my loadout is compiled by Long Rush uh, and Easy Sore. Your move creep. Code to the touch and assassination. As you may notice, this is another melee focus build. I like to experiment a lot with melee, and also I like to experiment a lot with a lot of guns in general. Of course, I would have had a pistol build by now, but unfortunately, I do not have enough heroes to buff up my pistols to the point that I really, really love using it. <clears throat> so I have long rush, and then your mood creep to make his other uh, abilities helpful i have easy sword easy sword code to the assassination to slow your roll which is going to be very very helpful for uh using swords with this guy It'll slow your roll is i think slow your roll freeze melee attackers for two seconds miss monsters are slow by 43 percent code to just Code to the touch increases damage against frozen enemies by 14%. So this is going to be really working together if you have if you get uh, zombies frozen in at your base, trying to attack your base, and then you it's going to be really really helpful. Try uh if they smack you, they just fucking bitch slap the fuck out of you. You you could just Wah! fucking pull out your sword and it's like fuck them up. Assassination and uh, easy sword is going to be making your sword a lot more easier to use and a lot more efficient to use. Assassination is going to be is going to be giving you uh, more damage over time, and easy sword really increases. I uh, mean, increases sword heavy attack efficiency by 65%, which is really really incredible, and it's going to be so much more helpful. And you're not going to be spending as much energy trying to use trying to fucking uh, phase shift with the uh, with the spectral blade or using or fucking leaping to your enemies uh, with your guardians will <laughs> of course all all these setups i've all these melee setups i've used is recommended to have a spectral blade guardians will or a uh, sir lancelot because this is because those weapons or those melees are probably the best ones in the game all right i'll see you guys in the next build and then okay i'll see you guys in a gameplay right now and we'll come back and end it off all right so these are going to be the weapons i'm going to be using it's a guardian's will with all blue rolls with a critical build and i'm also be using a spectral blade with a critical build with all blue rolls too they're both energy this is also a power level 64 four times uh mission uh in canyon valley 
So as a constructor, you're supposed to be on the build. You're supposed to be on the mission, like before anyone else. Uh, you have to start setting up your. You have to start setting up your. Uh, uh, you have to start setting up the point as soon as possible, and this will really come in handy for your team. I only use the bull rush when I need to or when I absolutely see a time that I am supposed to use it. Like for example if so many husks are lining up around the point, th that is a good time to use it. And if you're bull rushing in into a horde of husks. It's always good to have your decoy on you because this is gonna really save your ass and it's gonna really help you get out of sticky situations. This isn't the best constructor build, constructor build I will admit that is isn't nowhere near one. It is more of a casual one, if anything. But this is really what I have to work with at the moment and this, and this is what I really enjoy doing because melees are really really fun to use and and can really boost like the amount of fun you have in the game all right we've reached the end of the video i hope you guys really enjoyed this was uh i've already tried recording this three fucking times already and i've failed most of the times and each time i keep finding new ways to to buff up my heroes and then before i had a lot of uh a lot of heroes that I wasn't really satisfied with and which were easy which were last minute adjustments and, and there was last minute adjustments for certain loadouts and there was uh and there was also a lot of uh a lot of loadouts that I wasn't really happy with. Part of the first time I recorded this there wasn't almost every loadout was soldiers and I was just like no I don't want to have this. I really don't want them all to be soldiers. So I chose all of them. So I chose to take the time to uh in, to experiment with more heroes and try to have more fun with them and, and try to find uh what are the best loadouts you could have to have fun and enjoy your time playing save the world instead uh of course i have a dps loadout if you really want to go in, in sweaty but tech but most of the melee loadouts is if if you really want to you could use of course, you can keep you can put a uh, assault rifle perk instead instead of melee. But like the two sweatiest uh, loadouts I have, have in my uh, profile is the hybrid loadout and the DPS loadout. I run the hybrid loadout because it's so much fun and you're such a fucking tank. You can put survivalist on him if you want to to make him even more of a fucking tank than he already is. But really, you don't have to. Alright, this one has been my hero loadouts. Uh, I call these the poor man's loadout because I'm power level 72 and I'm not even in Twin Peaks and I'm, I'm just so fucking broke because I don't got that many fucking heroes like everyone else like Demon Joe Friends, Tori X, and uh, David Dean or something like that. Dude. <laughs> but still, I hope you guys took something from this video and I really, really hope that you can consider using some of these builds and and uh, adjusting them to ho however you like uh they're they're really really fun builds that i really recommend and i'll see you guys in an another video goodbye uh i have i'm trying something new and i have a fortnite save roll right here i'm a power level i'm a power level 72 uh well hero or, oh. I will start out with the first one. Don't don't look at that. Don't don't look at that. Okay, no fuck. They've really like changed around how the heroes work, and now each hero has one specific perk that specifies to only them. Uh, well, most of the part, most of the time, I mean. And then they've uh they've. Hey what's up guys welcome back to another video so today I'm making a video on the new hero loadout that uh oh, fuck
which is insane because but now I will be showing you guys off I'm here this is a melee build that isn't supposed to be there oh I don't think so yeah it's right there yep that's that so we're using them Mac which regenerates uh, 2.7 shield per second and it increases uh, and also with corrupted aura you're you're also like you're also uh, in shadow sense for a lot more longer I mean no 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 we're not corrupted or what the fuck do I have to redo this entire thing oh fuck <laughs> 